Hello guys, in this video we are going to build a model that predicts whether someone has a heart disease or not. Uh, so we are going to use a heart data set that was downloaded from cargo.com. So let's import our libraries that help us uh, load the data frame. Import pandas as pd. So so the data frame which is called df in this case uh, from pandas we are going to to read a csv file uh, to read csv and uh, it's going to uh, it's called the uh, file is called heart disease data set so let's first view let's view the first ten uh, the first three observations of the data frame. So if we are reading the first three observations of the data set. So as you can see, age is a continuous variable set, is a, a categorical variable, which is in this regard. Uh, one means um, female and then zero means male. We have CP. Uh, CP is also a variable uh, in this data set which helps us uh, predict whether someone has a heart disease or not we have uh, blood pressure half cholesterol we have fbs uh, the rest uh, ecg ecg uh, then we have the cell uh, we have slope we have ca and then the target is the variable we want to come up with or we want to predict uh, it is composed of uh, ones and zeros, with a one being a yes, someone has a heart disease, and a zero being a no, someone doesn't have a heart disease. So let's check if this data set is clean enough to help us uh, predict for this target. Let's first check for the um, shape of the data frame. Uh, this data frame has 383 observations and 14 attributes which are here there are 14 variables uh, when you check on the description of the data frame um, yeah the description of the data set it, uh, shows us that age the on average age is 54 uh, then uh, the minimum age was 29 and then the maximum age was 77 77 the median was around 55 and then the 75th percentile was 61. for sex uh, mean doesn't communicate um yes uh, for categorical variables uh what we can do is to check if this data set has missing values so the data frame is uh, n a is it true um so if it is uh true or not get for me the sum of those missing values in each variable so as you can see we don't have missing values in the variables so we can go ahead um to see uh, the other thing you would do is uh, to check if uh, we have outliers in uh, variables like uh, age so let's uh, try to see if we have outliers in age uh, we can uh, use a box plot and we shall plot so uh, from so we shall import seaborn to help us visualize age um, we shall import seaborn as sns um, here we are going to plot uh, from sns help us get a box plot a box plot and we are going to plot it so when you look at this box plot it tells us that age is approximately normally um when you check well okay uh, it doesn't have outliers anyway uh, and when you check well uh, we don't have outliers and it means that it is not so much skewed uh, then 
Now we can go ahead to build our model. So, model formulation. So we are going to build a model that helps us predict whether someone has a heart disease or will get a heart disease or not, based on the attributes that you've seen in the data set. So uh, we are going to use a logistic regression model to find out whether someone has a heart disease or not since our target is is binary yeah we are going to use that uh, so uh, we shall import a few libraries that are going to help us uh, build this model so from sklearn um let's uh, from from linear model from sklearn and in a linear model uh let's import our model which is a logistic regression model and then uh, we shall need uh, to, to, to split the data set, this data set here, into two parts. Uh, one part for training the model so that it learns new patterns on testing. So we shall split the data set into two parts, one for training and then one for testing. So from model selection, import. Um, we are going to import train, test, and split. So after training the model and uh, testing it, we shall need to evaluate its accuracy score to see if um, if it is reliable, uh, if its accuracy is pretty good. So uh, from SKLAN dot, um, um, dot metrics, we shall import um the accuracy score so let's go ahead to formulate our model um in the data set here uh, we shall need to okay let me first view this data set um the data set let me first view the first two observations so in this data set here we are uh, going to split uh, to, to, to identify the outcome and then identify the predictors or the x variable and then the outcome which is the y variable so the outcome uh, the outcome shall be uh, the from the data frame get for me a variable called target uh, which is the y variable and then I want the predictors. Uh, the predictors, we shall use all of these variables to predict for, uh, to predict whether someone has a heart disease or not, or whether someone has chances of getting a heart disease or not. So we shall just drop this variable because it's not part of the predictors, it's just an outcome. So from the data frame, Help me drop uh, target and the axis shall be one set to one. So these are the x variables. So after identifying the x variables and the y variables, we can go ahead to split these um, variables into two sets first will be the training set and the second will be the, the the test set so we shall um declare variables for test uh this is the x test, test set then the um, x train uh, so we shall start with the x train and uh, then 
x set then the y train the y test. all these variables are going to be provided by the function which is called a uh, train test split and uh, we are going to split prediction uh, predictors and uh, outcomes yes uh, the training size shall be 80 percent and then the random state each time we run the model it will change this set so um after splitting the data set we can go ahead to build the model so the model shall be a logistic regression model and we can fit the train uh, the train values on the model uh, it's like uh, plotting um, a, a, a curve plotting uh, uh, making a scatter plot so we are going to fit it's like training the model so model dot fit um uh, we shall fit the training sets on the model after training it we can go ahead to make the predictions so these are the y predictions so the y predictions shall be uh, given by the model and this model we shall predict and the predictions to in in order to predict for y uh, we shall need to have the the training part the test part i mean so we shall need to test for us to predict for y and then after um after getting the predictions we can go ahead to find out the accuracy of the model we built so the accuracy shall be um from the accuracy score and the accuracy score we want to find out whether the y's that are being tested do not vary so much uh, from the y's that are predicted so the y train the y test i mean um we want to find out whether they are varying so much from the y's that are predicted so the y preds so after finding out the accuracy let's print it and see if it's pretty good accuracy for the model is so we shall get accuracy times a hundred to turn it to percentage so accuracy is that percent so when you run it uh, you can see that the accuracy score is uh, 88 yeah it's pretty good 88.5 percent and um, uh, to predict for something uh, we can uh, 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 we want to predict whether someone of age 23 um, gender gender male or sex male and uh, cp2 uh, the blood pressure 130 so we shall need to get an array um by param parameters it will be from numpy get for me an array of these parameters um age is 21 for a person who is 21 and uh, male uh, with a cp of two with a cp of two and a blood pressure of uh, 140 and then the cholesterol is uh 2010 um the the fbs is zero uh rest egg is a uh, one then we have a 140 uh then a zero the old peak is uh, maybe 2.4 then the slope is zero ca is zero and uh, maybe thou is two so we want to see to check 
whether someone with uh, these parameters is going to get a heart disease or, or is more likely to get a heart disease or not. So we shall make predictions of model. Model dot predict. So predict for me my parameters. So you see, someone with these uh, attributes, uh, with uh, uh, these parameters, is most likely to get a heart disease. Why? Because a one means a yes, and a zero means a no. Thank you for watching. Wait for other videos.